So now just making sure you're nice and cosy. And just let your body go like a rag doll. All your muscles nice and soft. And I'm gonna get you to imagine a few things and you'll find that as you're imagining that your body will just relax anyway. And while you're relaxing there, I want you to imagine that you're outside on a lovely day. You have a picnic table laid out and on the picnic table is everything that you have ate and drank already today and what you plan to eat later on. Or what you could have laid out on that picnic table is everything that you ate and drank all day yesterday. So a day's worth of food laid out on the table. Look through everything. See if there's anything missing. Add it in. You know, those little bites of this, nibbles of that. Everything there. And as you look through everything, what do you feel you could have done without? What could you have ate less of? What do you wish wasn't even there at all? And divide it up. Everything you want out of your way, I want you to place in a bundle on the ground there beside the table. Look at what you have left and are you satisfied? Look at what's left on the table and realistically could you have ate less? Or maybe as you look at what's left there you might decide to swap some things that's on the table for even better choices. But only swap if it pleases you to swap. Swap for more protein or fruit or veg or quality grains. Anything else you might take off this table, I want you to add to the bundle that you have on the ground. And then we'll come back to that image later. Just letting that image go. Now imagine yourself, maybe where you're sitting right now, or just on some chair somewhere, comfortable and relaxed, breathing to relax even more right now. And imagine a huge bucket on the floor beside you, there to one side, huge bucket. And then in an imaginary kind of way, imagine a tube of some sort that will carry your excess fat from your body and into this bucket. And in a relaxed imaginary way now, all your excess fat draining from your face and your neck and your arms into this bucket. And you can look and see that the bucket is starting to fill with your own fat. And what colour is it? Or colours? The texture. The smell. And the sound of your fat splashing into the bucket from the tube. As it drains from your back and your chest and it's suctioned from your stomach leaving you with a nice little waist your tummy nice and flat and it all goes directly into the bucket and the bucket is filling more and you look and you can see fluid mixed in with the fat in the bucket maybe streaks of blood too this is harmless you're doing good and the bucket is filling more and more and you can see how your fat looks see how it moves around the bucket clinging on to the sides and the fat continues to drain 
from your hips and your ass and your legs and you can hear the sound of your fat fill the bucket all that fat and fluid sludge and it continues to drain until you're satisfied with your slim body on the chair so to the side of you is that bucket of all your excess unwanted fat on the other side of you is a bin your bin from the kitchen or from work or from anywhere it could be your wheelie bin or some other rubbish bin and in front of you is that bundle of food that you had placed on the ground by the picnic table and in a moment you'll take your time and one by one pick up each item from the bundle and dip it into the bucket so starting with the first piece that you pick up now pick it up and look at it before you dip it into the bucket and I want you to see it for what it really is food that you didn't even need food that will keep you with fat on your body so stick it into the bucket stick it right into the fat and cover it completely get your hand in there too and feel the fat on your skin is it warm or cold does it feel gooey or slimy and that smell submerge the food and then take it out and bring it up in front of your face and the fat is running down your slim arm dripping off your elbow see it smell it do you want to taste it I don't think so could you or would you imagine putting this food into your mouth? I would never dare suggest anyone carry out anything like it, but even in your imagination, would you put this food into your mouth? Every single time that you put food in your mouth that you do not need, you are eating back in this excess fat into and onto your body. Do you want to see how close to your lips you can actually put that food? Look at it closely, dripping with fat and decide what you really, really want. Do you want plenty of food in your belly and fat on your body? Or do you want it to be easy to just put that food in the bin? Just bin that food and let that excess fat be a thing of the past. It's time to get this into perspective now. What do you really want? This food and this fat? Or do you want to take responsibility for your decisions in creating what it is you say you want? So now, one by one, going through the same process with everything in the bundle in front of you and binning each piece slamming them in if you'd enjoy that and taking the time to really look at each piece of food you really did not need to eat and look at it while it's dripping your fat all this food you overate is the one and only thing keeping fat on your body you are the only one responsible for what you put into your mouth. Sometimes others are responsible for how much food is put in front of you, but without exception, you feed yourself. Deep down, you know exactly what is best for you. Now think of a meal that you've had over the last few days. 
a meal that you just feel you ate too much, you overeat. So look at that meal, see it in front of you and decide how much food you would have liked to have left on the plate. And take away the amount of food that fed, fueled and satisfied you until all that is left is the extra food that you didn't even need. Now, visualise that food covered with your own fat and fluid and feel instantly pour off that food. See what that looks like. And every single time you picture your fat on the food in front of you, food you don't even need, you will feel instantly pour off that food. You know how to eat and enjoy your food until you're satisfied. And then visualize the rest covered in fat and fluid. You're relaxing deeply now. You're reprogramming your eating habits. You're eating less, feeling satisfied. And as your attitude toward food changes, you feel more in control. Imagine now how you will look at your ideal size and shape. Notice how you stand, how you move, speak. Notice how you handle things. Notice everything about your thinner self. Notice your fit, healthy body, your firm muscles and make that image bright, clear, colourful and appealing. Now, I want you to bring your slim, confident, relaxed self back outdoors, back to that picnic table on that lovely day And now I wonder if this thinner, happier, healthier you will take anything more off this table or make any more swaps. I wonder what she will decide to bin, throw away whatever food you don't need. There's a bin nearby and just throw her in there. And look at the spread now. You see, I told you that deep down you know exactly what needs to happen. You can see the food, you can see it in front of you there, you can see the food you need and you can see that you made great choices. There was no calorie counting, no restrictions, no weighing food, no rules. There was just your own common sense in action and that feels good. So now, bringing with you everything that you took from today, everything that was of benefit, everything you felt was a good idea. And taking a nice deep breath in, filling up your body, filling up your lungs, relax on the second breath. And as you exhale the second breath, open your eyes and stretch and smile.